Okay, folks, what we're going to do here is a review of this 100 watt solar panel system from Harbor Freight Tools. Uh, this one is approximately four years old, I want to say. And if you, the, the mounting brackets that hold it all together, they were somewhat sketchy. It was just little pieces of metal. Um, they're still on the back of some of these, like this right here. It's just a little piece of metal that holds it together. Well, the bottom ones fell apart immediately or shortly thereafter because they just rust. The uh, solar panels, if you can see right here, this one still has a blue light on it. it means it's putting out power. This one does not have a blue light. Oh, wait, that's a screw hole. Sorry. Does not have a light. This one does not have a light. And this one does not have a light so out of the four panels only one of them is now producing power um, the charge controller that came with them died pretty quickly it was a fairly cheap charge controller I switched it out to a new charge controller of the same quality and it did okay for a while but then it failed as well and so then I changed to a um, uh, let me go see what I found. Change to. Okay, I changed to this right here, One, Renogy Wonder, and I had the Bluetooth connection here, um, which is really cool because you can see it on your phone. Um, I now have uh, a different Renogy. Excuse the mess, but I have a Renogy Rover now, and the Bluetooth adapter is hooked up to it now instead. So I can see Bluetooth. I can see my my uh, Rover output. You can see here. It's uh, Oh, maybe you can see it. I don't know if you can or not. Let's see. There we go. Oh, my battery's at 100%. Photovoltaics are putting out 18 volts, it looks like, at 7 watts because the batteries are full. So anyway, this is a, a much better much better system. Um, you have to excuse my mess. I've got stuff everywhere. Like I said, but I changed this to this Renji Wonder, and uh, the solar panels seem to work pretty well with that. Um... But I also have now more solar panels than this. I have a whole bunch of them. Um, I have a wind generator that I have not put up yet. I have these panels here, which are just charging a battery right there. And this is the controller that I went to in the middle. Um, it's a just a cheap controller, Chinese, 15 bucks on Amazon, 20 bucks, something like that on Amazon. And it seems to work pretty good. Um, I just got a cover over it so it doesn't get wet. But it's these two panels hooked up to that battery right there at the bottom, and it seems to work. My new solar panels are up on the roof of this building, or this lean-to, so to speak. And they uh, they do a pretty good job. Uh, this one's hooked up to that Renogy uh, Rover and the Renogy Wonder or two. This one panel that's putting out power here, it's still hooked up to the Renogy Rover, uh, the Wonder, as well as one panel on the roof. Um, and it they're... The one on the roof, I think, is 100 watt. This one's a 25 watt. So they're not balanced or by any stretch of imagination. But uh, hey, I just wanted to give you all a heads up on the on the solar panels. They've lasted for about four years. I'm going to tear into them and see if I can figure out what's making them not produce power. If, if there's a bad connection, I mean, you look at this bottom down here. It's kind of corroded up. This is all, all the panels are kind of messed up on the bottom. I don't know if that's what's done it or if it's something electrical inside. So. Um, that's all for today, and if you guys follow me, I'm going to be uh, uh, building an off-grid cabin in Louisiana. Uh, I'm going to put a, take a shipping container, 40-foot shipping container, and make it into a house with uh, totally off-grid. Um, I'm going to collect rainwater for the, for the water. I'm going to have solar panels for everything. Uh, I'll have propane for the, um, for the water heater and for the stove. The refrigerator is going to be 12 volt. The whole system will be, all the lights will be 12 volt inside. The only thing I'll have to figure out is a mini split. I want to run a mini split on the built, on the container. So just, if you like it, like and follow and, uh, and you'll hang out. You'll get notified when the new ones are out. We haven't, we haven't started on that yet, but I'm also going to be converting some stuff. Like I've got some 110 volt lights, kitchen lights that I want to return. I want to convert. It's dead anyway. It's an LED light from Home Depot, but I want to reconvert it over to a 12 volt light so I can use it in the cabin. So anyway, like I said, like and follow and uh, we'll uh, go from there. Thank you for, for watching.